Welcome back to my channel, Learn Academic English, where I teach intermediate and advanced level English lessons for English learners who want to take their English to the next level for school and work. In today's short grammar lesson, I'm going to teach you how to use the verb wish. The reason I'm talking about this verb today is that wish is a little bit tricky because you do need to use some special grammar with this verb. And often, English learners will confuse the verbs hope and wish, but they are quite different. Wish indicates something that you wish were different. You are imagining a situation that you wish could be different, and if it were different, then you would be happy. These are situations that either cannot change or probably will not change. These are hypothetical or unreal situations that cannot change, but in your mind you wish that they could be different. In contrast, the verb hope expresses something that you want to have happen, and maybe it will happen. So, for example, you can say, I hope to make some new friends soon. But if you say, I wish, you would have to say, I wish I could make new friends soon. And wish there would indicate that probably it will not happen. Hope is more certain that maybe it will happen. You hope so. But wish has the feeling that it's probably not going to happen or it cannot happen but you wish it could be different. So don't get those verbs confused and make sure that you know the grammar for the verb wish. The main thing that you need to remember for the grammar for the verb wish is that you're going to need to use a past tense verb in the second clause. And the reason for the past tense verb is not because we're talking about the past. It's because we are talking about a conditional. For example, I wish my father lived closer. Here we're going to use the verb in the past tense. We're not talking about the past. We're talking about the present. But because this is an unreal situation, we have to use the verb in the past. Think about the conditional grammar that you know, and you will probably know this type of grammar already. Second, I wish I had more money. So again, I'm thinking about a situation that I wish were different. It cannot happen or it probably will not happen, but boy, I wish it were different. I wish I had more money. Again, had here is in the past tense to show that conditional, but we're actually talking about the present. Now, let's talk about how you can use wish for ability. Instead of using the verb can, we have to use the past tense form, so we're going to use the verb could. I wish I could speak French. I cannot speak French. But in my mind, I wish it were different. I wish I could speak French. Or, I wish I could swim well. I'm not a good swimmer, but I wish that I could swim well. It's my wish for something different. Now notice when you use the verb be, you have to change that to were. And you may know another similar form, if I were you, this is the same idea. We have to use the verb were for this conditional. For example, I wish I were taller. Now, am I going to be taller? No, this is never going to change. But I wish it were different. I wish I were taller. Sometimes you may hear people use was, but the grammar tells us that we should use were for this conditional. Or, I wish electric cars weren't expensive. So they are expensive. There's nothing that I can do to change that situation. But in my mind, I wish it were different. I wish electric cars weren't expensive. Now, also take a look here for the second clause. If we're talking about the future, we're not going to use will. We're going to use would. For example, I wish COVID would go away. Is COVID going to go away? Probably not, but I wish it would go away. I'm talking about something that I wish were different in the future, so I'm going to use would. Or, I wish the teacher would cancel the test. So in my mind, I'm thinking that I wish this situation were different. 
I wish the teacher would cancel the test, maybe tomorrow or next week, but it's probably not going to happen. Now, in this situation, could I change this verb to hope? I could. I could say, I hope the teacher cancels the test. Notice that the grammar there is different. I hope the teacher cancels the test. And if we use hope, then it means that we think that maybe it will happen. But when we use wish, it gives us the feeling that it's probably not going to happen, but I wish it were different. Okay, we're going to look at two more things before we stop. We're going to look at how to use wish to talk about the past, something that you regret or something that you wish were different in the past. And finally, I'll show you how to use wish to wish something for someone. Next, let's see how to use wish to talk about something that you wish were different in the past. We usually think that this is expressing regret because we're thinking about a past situation that we wish were different. And again, this is something that cannot change because it happened in the past, it's finished, so we can use wish, but to talk about the past, we're going to use past perfect in that second clause. So think about taking one step back, we're talking about the past, take one step back and use the past perfect. For example, I wish I had studied more in school. So I'm thinking about my past and maybe I didn't study very much and I could say, I wish I had studied more in school. Or, I wish we had taken climate change seriously 20 years ago. So we didn't take climate change seriously, but I wish that were different. Or, I wish you had told me. This is a very common uh, sentence that you can hear. For example, if I say, oh, yesterday was my birthday, then uh, you can say, oh, I wish you had told me. I didn't know when I saw you yesterday. So again, to talk about something that you wish were different in the past, you're going to use past perfect in the second clause, and this is often used to express regret. Okay, finally, let's look at one last use of the verb which, which is to wish someone something. And here we're going to use wish plus nouns. For example, I wish you good luck. I wish someone something. Or, I wished her a happy birthday at the party. Now here, wish is in the past tense because the party happened yesterday or in the past. I wished her a happy birthday. Or, I wish you all the best. This is a very common sentence and this means that I wish something for you. I wish you all the best. But notice that we're not going to use wish with to. For example, I wish you to do well in school. We cannot say that. We are going to use wish plus the person plus a noun. That's it for today. I wish you all the best in your English learning. Please take a look at the comments below to see my examples and then tell me two or three things that you wish for. Have a great day and I will see you back here soon.